I'm Callum. And I'm Nate. And this is this week's Top Stories. Two men in Sweden were killed in an accident shortly before an ABBA tribute concert. Though they lost their lives, there was a silver lining to the incident. They didn't have to see an ABBA tribute concert. Officials out of the Lunar and Planetary Laboratory have looked closer at a large sphere nicknamed Kauma Olala orbiting around Earth. Officials believe that this celestial object may have a potential to be a moon, theorizing that Earth may have actually have two moons, meaning that even Earth has one more ball than Lance Armstrong. Supermodel Emily Ratowski has gone on a press tour for her new book in which she has shared multiple opinions on many topics, such as abortion, white privilege, self-image in teens, and even religion. You know, this reminds me of a book that I wrote called Go back to taking your clothes off or shut the hell up. The Brooklyn-born rap mogul Jay-Z had to testify on the stand due to a perfume brand suing him for breach of contract after Jay-Z allegedly did not show up to the agreed-upon events with the perfume company. After the examination, Jay-Z stated to the court that he will now change his famous song to 99 Problems on Parlay for Whom is One. Sex in the City reboot is set to air on December 9th, or as I like to call it, a bunch of old hags doing shit that I couldn't care less about. <laughs> Yard Barker recently released their list of top 25 international chip flavors that they hope come to the U.S. Some of the ones on the list are baked bacon cheese out of Switzerland, uh, uh, or excuse me, baked bacon cheese with seaweed out of Thailand, roasted ox out of England, and wasabi and steak out of Japan. Surprisingly, the flavor that just missed the top 25? Wuhan bat. <laughs> Marvel released its first teaser for the She-Hulk, a character who has all the same abilities as the Hulk, only female. This is set out to make young girls everywhere believe that they too can grow up to be a genetically mutated giant monster who fights crime. According to Business Insider, a desperate Afghan father said he sold his nine-year-old daughter for $2,200 to buy food for his other kids. The one positive outcome? A woman is finally getting paid her true worth. <laughs> California couple spent $4,000 to get married at a Taco Bell located on the beach. Later that night, they went back to their house and spent six hours of intense, passionate diarrhea. <laughs> the Supreme Court will try to rule on a new guns right laws, has repeatedly looked to 1328 medie medieval England to help give a more clear answer to this problem. After diligently researching medieval England's laws on weapons, the Supreme Court has announced there is now a nationwide ban on the broadsword. Paris Hilton got married this week to venture capitalist Carter Rian. You can catch him on their new reality TV show, So I Married a Fucking Moron. <laughs> Former Jeopardy! champion Ken Jennings returned to the show to guest hosts. After the show, Jennings was quoted saying, I was just terrified when asked about replacing Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek's response? And that's the news.